Grace and You cooking show segment is brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited, bringing good taste to life. And welcome to another episode of Grace and You. And of course, it's Women's Month. And so we have from the Women's Department. All right. And she's going to be cooking up something special. And of course, we have a representative from Grace. Oh, sorry. <laughs> she doesn't play along well with others. Um, well, of course, Trudy William. All right. Now. I've been trying to get them to dance, but they don't want to dance. So we're going to cook. Better. All right. I haven't had breakfast or even a drink, so no, you have to understand. No, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> you get up and move. Yes. So what are we going to cook today? Um, this morning, well, we're going to prepare. We're not really going to cook, but uh -huh. we're going to do our tomato pineapple basil um, sauce that we do and as a um, way to promote the gourmet vinegars that one of the women's group, Instant Creek, produces. Uh. And so these, these vinegars start, were started producing, uh, I believe, like two years ago. And so we continue to promote them because it's something that is made in Belize. It is different. It has not been done before. And so we wanted to do something that was very quick, something that any family in Belize can do. Any child, if you allow your children or have an age to be able to prepare this, which takes a lot of vegetables and fruits which again is something that is very healthy. I'm gonna, I, I am so going to follow this right now. Right? So All right. The, the, the recipe itself calls for two pounds of tomato, but we're gonna okay. prepare just a little bit because then I don't know if everybody else will eat it afterwards. So yeah. we're just gonna be able to cut up the tomatoes um, thinly, finely chopped, then we're gonna add it to the bowl already. Then we're gonna also have some finely chopped um, onion onions, to the white onions. As well. White onions, you can do any color. You can add yeah. color because you can use the purple one as well. Yeah, and kids I'll, love that, color. And I think the purple one has a less uh, bitter taste. Right, so. right. Uh, if you don't like the, the, the taste of the onion, you can also add like a little bit of um, vinegar. You can use Gray's vinegar to wash it all away. And then afterwards, you can put it in if you don't like that taste because that's what I do. I don't like the taste of the onion. So I wash it a little bit first and then yeah, I put it in. But that's the flavor. Right. But some people don't. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you have to make sure you cut, you give everybody what they like. So in your that, house, you prepare it as you like uh, it. I need to go to your house. <laughs> 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 then <This is> like <laughs> <laughs> we also use uh, some freshly um, chopped cilantro to mm -hmm. add to it. You can um, put that in there. Like I said, it's a very colorful um, sauce, so it will call the attention of the children. You, it's hard ah. to really have children like vegetables, but this is really nice. And of course, you're going to put in the pineapple that is freshly chopped. Usually, we prefer fresh pineapple, but sometimes, you know, we cannot find it. so. You, it's okay, you can use the can, although we prefer the fresh. We keep saying that. Healthy eating. Um, and of course, you can eat the, you can put in also the basil for a little bit of flavor. And so what we're doing is all these uh, vegetables and the fruit, it kind of blends in to g give it a unique taste to the, um, to the sauce. So you put this in here as well. You, what we're going to do in the blender is... You're going to blend it? No, 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 no. That's oh, going to okay. stay as that. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, we are going to put, actually, going to put in the vinegar now in the blender to blend it along with some other. We have lemon and lime here. We have so, uh, spicy sorrel. And, first one and this pineapple. one is the pineapple basil. All right. So you do me the honors. Actually, I think that the taste of that, I can just imagine what it tastes Ooh. like. Pineapple and basil together. Right. Mm, this is what you call an orchestra in right. your and mouth. You can, <laughs> you can put in two teaspoons. Let's measure it. Some people might be able to just Table do it spoon. like that. I but bow. I measure. <laughs> All right, let's add first one and then the second one. So if you are able to just measure like that's fine, you just put it according to your flavor. Then we're gonna add half a tablespoon of brown sugar as well. Then we're gonna add two teaspoons from the pineapple juice. Okay. So if you notice we're putting in the pineapple juice, we're putting the pineapple vinegar, and then we're also putting mm, the, the, the juice really itself. I didn't know this existed. So we're, we're gonna put so it I've in been here. Edumacated. Right, you have so you now can do it at home, you can buy it from us. So we're just gonna blend it for a little while. It's not a lot if you notice. It depends on the quantity that you're gonna produce, it's gonna of course come up more in, in the blender itself. So once you do that, mm. then you're gonna mix it up in here. Smell it already. It mm. smells because the the, the the vinegar gives it a different smell. Sorry, you can add a little bit of black here. pepper okay. to taste. So we're using the Mahler Depends black pepper on, today. We're using the Mahler from Grace, of course. And we're also going to put in a little bit of garlic salt. People, do, so not all the time I put garlic salt. Some people might. They can add their flavor to the recipe as they go along. So then we just mix this up. 
It's like salsa, but with a different flavor. With a different flavor, right? Because some oh, people don't know. Oh, and I love salsa, know. mom. Right. I'm getting this vinegar. <laughs> they don't know. You know, they have tomato. They both can avoid with regular tomato. So you can just add this little thing. Oh my goodness! And so one way that you can serve it is you can serve with chips. Right, so you take this if you don't, you don't okay. feel like eating a lot. Okay, um, listen, this can be a meal, <laughs> <laughs> it smells amazing, and of course, what I have yeah. to come to your house because she's garnishing and everything. Of course, there you go. You can put it on top of fish if you're doing like bait fish, mm -hmm. you can put it on top of it as well. I already thought about a million ways to eat this, <laughs> right? Um, so, this center we also have here, we just um, sliced up some of the grace hot and spicy viennas that can be added on the side for those who don't want to go vegetarian right. um, of course there are a lot of other things that you can add to that if it is you're doing fresh fish or you have the grace lunch and meat that you can just dice up on the side give give mm. people choices you but know chicken shredded chicken you yes know, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> y'all driving me crazy with all this talking i gotta taste this oh my god my mouth <laughs> at the bar. You can add more, add vinegar, <laughs> more vinegar to it if you want it a little bit more, you know, mm. sourish in taste. A little bit of salt. Some mm. people don't use salt, so it gives a different flavor what you add to the sauce. Is that the good? Mm. Is that the good? Mm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let me start with my drink here over this side here, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I could give them something. So he doesn't to choke. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he wants more. That's mm -hmm. what I'm right there. <laughs> Okay, um, well for today, I'll be featuring the carb shandy mm -hmm. and just to remind everyone that the carb shandy contains up to 1.2% alcohol, so it can be less. And that's just because whatever contains alcohol, you have to actually dis disclose it on the bottle. Today, I decided I wanted to use the lime. My favorite is sorrel, but um, like I said, twisting things up a bit is always mm. very wonderful. Mm -hmm. And so... That's how it's proof. Let me, let me make sure I just put in the whole bottle there. And then to that, I'm going to add some used piña colada. And that's just because, again, like I said, I mean, having different flavor always works best than just doing one plain something there. <laughs> and I want some Benjamin's vanilla because I think there's no better way to add some flavor than to add in the Benjamin's vanilla. Again, for me, I just eyeball, you know. Yeah. I throw everything oh, in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um, Willem, can you kindly help me? With <laughs> and it's how slushy it is that you want it. I mean, you can just take the carb shandy and, and chill it and have a drink while it is that you're having your salsa or like I said if it is that you just like to do something different with it and we chilled our glasses Miss Cynthia here you go Thank you. and William so I you don't have any space for juice <laughs> I only have space of salsa today. Well, the salsa is all yours. <laughs> you know, if you're having a party, you can I'm, have the I'm shandy. I'm joking, I'm joking. There's and always space for drinks. You can have the salsa and the shandy for your party. Very simple, easy to make, doesn't take long. I have <laughs> one re uh, request. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Mm -hmm. You make it, I'll come and pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> we can arrange that. That's can absolutely arrange. no right. problem. If you buy several um, boxes of the vinegar, you can have it for like a month. Oh. In a month, I can cook the salsa for you. I can make the salsa oh, for perfect. you. Oh, <laughs> perfect. It's a done deal. Mom, we're having salsa today, tomorrow, and all of next week. Um, Miss Cynthia, though, I just wanted, um, if it is that we could just take a few more minutes, let's just talk about the group. Is it just the women's group that is in that? Is there a, a specific person that came up with the... The, the formula to do and the, it's nicely the packaged vinegar too. or um, how did that come about? Um, well, the idea came from the women's group itself. Like I said, okay. it's based in St. Quick. Miss Michelle Irving is the coordinator. Mm -hmm. She works oh, wow. along with the group. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> she is a woman development officer who is in charge of the entire St. Creek district. And so she works with different women's group. And this group decided they wanted to do something different. As you know, one of the, ro well, the role of the department is to see how we can support women's group throughout the country. And mm -hmm. so we provide technical assistance. And so when they came up with this idea, we decided, be a good um, opportunity for us to help them. 
Um, we are working in terms in the marketing. We know that there are things that are still not complete, for example, doing a nutrition label, mm -hmm. for okay. it, which is needed for the product itself to be able to be widely distributed and sold. So we're working on that. We're trying to find um, technical assistance for them to be able to do that and be able to produce it. Bottling, again, is an issue for them because we Belize doesn't have bottles, produce bottles that way. So we have to see how we can import them. We want to be able to give it a, a unique presentation, yeah. um, if you notice, mm -hmm. so that they can stand out from other things. And it goes back to the woman in the group. And that's what we want, uh, to be able to get them to be more empowered, more income in, in, independent, and be able to put, um, have more finance for their families. But would you be able to also share, like, what would be the retail price of You of want to work at Channel 5? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm yeah, joking. Why are you working on It's Women's Month. With That's right. Okay, nice okay. Women. You know what? Go, go over the side, Cynthia. Let, you want let, let, yeah. let, let me just, right. yeah, These, go ahead, uh, actually. <laughs> These bottles go for between to eight to ten dollars, and we okay. try. We're trying to get a smaller bottle that goes for a little bit less. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, bottling is always an issue, but we want to also make it affordable to the general public. Mm -hmm. Even though it's the first ever gourmet line vinegar line mm -hmm. that we that we produce in the country, we also want to make it available to Belizean, to the general public, because a lot of times we produce things in Belize, and our Belizeans cannot really eat it, have it in their table, and want to keep. But uh, my question was. The recipe itself, where did that come from? Um, Michelle, did, uh, she came up with it. The we staff came up with different designs. We have one, a, a vinegar that is escabeche. That is oh. Oh. escabeche. That one. And so I, I tried that one, and then uh, the, other, the director at the time also tried another recipe. So staff came up with different recipes. We, of course, had to use the vinegar to make sure that whenever we talk about what we're cooking, it's actually something that we did. So it's not a recipe that we just say, well, this is going to work, and that's it. We actually have tried it. Whenever we have expos, we use the salsa. Um, if you don't have fresh and tomatoes. And the salsa is tried, tested, and William approved. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, William. They can also use salsa cassari for any chance they okay. can get to, to the market. And that's quick and buy. easy. Exactly. Um, likewise, just to let everybody know that there's a difference between what we consider the, the cooking. regular, the cooking vinegar right. and the gourmet right. vinegar because I mean for something like this I think if we were supposed to just use the, the grace vinegar we'd have to maybe add a little bit of lime you know for it to bring out that taste so like you mentioned before we will wash the onion for those who want to kind of kill a little bitterness with the cooking vinegar but the gourmet vinegar to me that that's that's more for for what and you're raising a good point because very often we don't cook with vinegar yes. um and even though you have some of the well add it to sauces directly mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of the strength but these uh this is a good thing and that's why i was asking about the um the recipes as well right. because some do uh, call for apple cider yes, or whatever. Yes. So this localizes right. the, the flavor. And this one example for the pineapple basil, I add it to beef when, it, when I'm cooking steak and okay. it brings out a different flavor on the meat itself. Okay. So you can add it, you can try out new things, add it to different meats. And what we do is usually with each of the vinegars, we add, we, we kind of put a little comment which meats they can go better with. I mean, you can try it on everything, but which they go better with to increase the flavor of the meat and to take out a new flavor of the recipe. So we really try to be able to bring that. So we're trying to promote it a little bit more, work on the label, work on the marketing, on the nutritional contents of it, and be able to hopefully have and shipping. where outside. is it available? Um, well, whenever we have, the, um, people can contact the women's department. If you live in Stan Creek, uh, Michelle would be the person who you'd be able to contact. Um, we usually need advance notice because then they would have to produce it. They use organic, so fruits. So how long is the shelf life? Um, it would be roughly, we've had this for quite a while. It can be up to between six months to eight months. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I usually use the bottle very quickly because <laughs> I, I, I mean, and I, I like my meat very washed. So sometimes I even need to wash because it, while washing or while soaking the meat, it's marinating. And okay. so it gives a different flavor to it as well. Okay. So, you, you know, we've been experimenting with them a little bit. Yeah. But, William, for this mm -hmm. recipe, of course, we will have it on, <laughs> on the Grace and You um, website. So, gracekennedybelize.com. Um, we'll be posting that as soon as we get through with the show. But, like I said, you can contact the women's department. And I know there are other things that are happening this right. month. So, this is an excellent opportunity, Miss right. Cynthia, for you to talk about that since I want to take over <laughs> William's job. Right, right. So, you better watch out. No, yeah, I mean, tomorrow we have one of our biggest Run activities. Um, <laughs> the annual Women's Month by Crowley. <laughs> so this is something that we have a lot of participants. We try to promote a lot of healthy mm -hmm. family activities that okay. you can bring up the entire family. And so tomorrow we have a bike rally. I hope 
um, William, I see you one day. I don't know when that would be to I ride, ride in your bike. bike. I, me, I don't <laughs> see you there. I, yeah, because and I you get, get all like, you know, <laughs> like tight <pipes> up. And <laughs> <laughs> it's not long, William. It's not long. It's not cross country. But you get a chance to win a, a little prize at the end of the, the, the raffle, at uh, the ride, actually. You get a little ticket and you ride. And so you have fun. What time is it? Um, we start at 6 on the dot. That's the problem on a Saturday <laughs> for me. <laughs> right. And we're very punctual. We don't start late. We say 6, we start. And what's the road? Um, we, we start at Western Herner of Western Avenue and uh, the highway, George mm -hmm. Price Highway. We go now onto um, Faber's Road. Okay. Then we go across the boulevard. Then we go... Um, up to Yabra Bridge, mm -hmm. then we go Regent Street, we go Albert Street, we go Queen Street, Freetown, then up to YWCA where we finish the race. Okay. And we have four four um, trophies oh. that we award okay. winners. We have the youngest rider. Mm -hmm. We've had as young as a year and a half riding wow. all the way. <laughs> okay. And so we really had to wait quite a while for it to make it, <laughs> but it's quite an achievement. That one yes. year and a half, you're riding all the way. We have the oldest rider. Okay. Um, we have the largest female team. <laughs> oldest female rider <laughs> and then <laughs> we have the uh, largest female team so channel 5 can bring in a group if they want and they can be the largest female we also have the largest mixed team which is often contested by the police department and call it okay. um, group so it's always a very dynamic very and while the prizes race. are strictly for women because of women's month no, 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 men can go out no, and support let me clarify <laughs> that William the prizes are not only for women oh no, okay no. <laughs> no, today. no we actually have we try to get a variety of tools that can be used by men, by women, household appliances with the first and the second prize being a stove, a microwave, and a toaster oven being the third prize. So we do have a lot of prizes, and we try to think of prizes that the family can use at home. Who cannot use an a microwave oven or a stove? Totally mm -hmm. agree. So we try to and do that. And what we will do at Grace Kennedy, we're going to be adding a six-pack of Shandy to each, except for the youngest rider. There we can throw in some dollar juice. <laughs> so um, that's what we're going to do because we really believe that being a part of the women's department activities is very very important and after you get through with the ride we have our first quarter sale at the Constitution Park so that's enough time for you to go home relax change and get over to the Constitution Park for the Grace I Kennedy don't know the Park. oh yeah and then Bring make sure yeah back. I took William yeah, so wonderful exactly. so wonderful and before I leave I just want to mention that we have the new Grace Ketchup in the pouch so we have the 20 ounce and the 20, 10 ounce, and it is excellent for kids. I am yet to throw it on the wall. I've been I've been meaning to do it, but I have to find the right wall for me. To, I want to see I what. I think all that wall. <laughs> <laughs> that wall on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Listen, listen, listen why? Listen why? Go and do it, William. <laughs> listen why? <laughs> this we have some reds up in here, right? Oh, so I agree it with them. Let's all right, all right, one. Do you want my, my baseball pitch? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. What's, what's, no, you know what? So <laughs> people are going like, yes, do yes, it, do yes, it. You're not going to get into trouble. Do it. Because and I want to do it. I have no problem doing it on Channel 5. Let's get it done, William. Just and sure it's, it's, a, to, to it's supposed to not break or anything, right? They say excellent for kids now. Some kids will definitely right. try it. So no, no, no. Sure. I'm not going to do it. Let, <laughs> let my mom spank me. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but um, really excellent, um, Miss Cynthia. It was wonderful. Thanks. And if it is that you want to feature other rep recipes on our website, you can feel free to um, let us know Definitely. too. Definitely. Right. Thank you very much for this opportunity and to invite the general public not only to tomorrow's event, which is the bike rally, but all other events that we have throughout the, the country. And not only by the women's department, we have a lot of activities that are featured in our annual Women's Month booklet by other agencies. Um, you were doing a lot of stuff with the young people. YWC as well. Yep. We, you know, it will be too numerous to mention, and even an entire show will not be able to give. But we definitely have a lot of sporting activities that we have four families again a tennis competition um, in Belmopan on the 22nd. We have a cricket competition, a rural women's cricket competition on the 30th, and that's really have becoming a quite a highlight for the month because it's in Bermuda Landing, it's in the rural community, and really okay. you can see the people coming out there for that activity. So c just take your family. The events are, it's, even though it's Women's Month, all the events, <laughs> most of the Since events. Don't give me that <laughs> <thing time. laughs> Families for men, uh, even though a lot of the events are featuring women's activities, workshops, and so on. All right. All right. Well, thank you for this non-cooking day <laughs> and for the salsa. And uh, I just want you to know, Marlene, and uh, this is up close and personal, mm. you ain't getting none. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, no, no. I'll bring you some, but I have first dibs on the left overs, oh, okay. all right? <laughs> so, uh, thank, thank you. you very much. And we wish the women there in Dangriga um, best of luck with this initiative and encourage people to go out and try it. It tastes wonderful. It's awesome. So, uh, and the recipes are available um, from women's department right, and also Grace and you will yeah. feature this particular one on their website. But for now, has been another edition of Grace and You and we'll go to break. <laughs> we'll go to break. We'll be right back after this splashes. Let's go. <laughs> Grace and You Cooking Show segment was brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited, bringing good taste to life.